The last scene to be filmed was the spectacular explosion that climaxes the bunch's looting of a military train. A bridge was built across the Rio Nazis near Torreon, with a center platform hinged at the back to swing open like a trapdoor, dropping the posse and their horses to the river below once the charges went off. None of the debris would be dangerous, as the superstructure was made of balsa wood, and the riders were outfitted with helmets and padding. Any heavy support pieces that might break loose were fastened with cables to keep them from floating into the stuntmen and horses before they could be picked up. Originally, it was to be a cable across the river instead of the bridge. And the only reason for the change was that the river wasn't right to do a cable crossing. It didn't have enough current. But it's funny to me now because I argued with Sam about it. I said, Christ, you're not going to blow up another bridge. But Sam had a good retort. It's not just blowing up a bridge. It's the way you blow up a bridge. And he was right. It was terrific on the screen. Whale and green. But in those days, there was no way to fake a stunt like this with computer graphics. No matter how carefully placed and measured, the dynamite still had to be exploded below the platform that held the posse before plunging them 20-some feet into the water. Ironically, the Rio Nazis is usually so shallow and placid that it had to be dammed upstream several weeks before the scene was scheduled so that the water would develop a depth safe enough to do the stunt. But on this particular day, an unexpected wind made the current flow very fast. Sam was really worried. He was afraid for the guys who went into the river. It was a dangerous river, fast and deep and black. I saw people being swept away to be caught downstream. Sam and Lucian both went in after a camera because they needed the footage. Struther Martin. Peckinpah set up six cameras, including two on a raft secured by cables that stretched across the river. Timing was everything, paramountly for the safety of the stuntmen and horses, but also because retakes were not possible. The scene had been weeks in the preparation and planning. Now the moment was at hand. With the cameras rolling, the actors on their marks, the rescue boats in place, and the stuntmen set and ready to go, Peckinpah gave the call to action. The bridge was exploded at 1.55 in the afternoon of Sunday, June 30th. Despite some close calls, the five stuntmen and their horses were safely recovered, a 
and the last scheduled scene of the Wild Bunch was in the can. When it was over, Bud Hulbird, the special effects engineer, remarked, I've just had the opportunity to hang a Rembrandt. It'll probably never happen to me again.